use Jessica Sporn's coffee stencil and I blocked out a few images and created some master sheets. So this is one of them. I chose just the words. For this one I have just the percolator and this one is the whole thing. And I did that because I didn't want to have to keep on going back and forth so then I photocopied my masters and then I'm going to use those as collage materials for the background of my um, canvases that I made. I ended up making four canvases but I'm just showing you one. I used my Deco Arts Gesso and the matte medium. I made a couple little doodles of what I thought I was going to do and I'm going to just take the gesso and I'm using gesso and the matte medium to put it all down so it kind of pushed back the image at the same time and I did gesso the canvas before, they're 10 by 10 canvases put a little gesso on it before and then as I'm ripping and tearing I'm going from gesso to matte medium it's not going to do anything to the matte medium it still works and it pushes back the image a little bit while you're working which is helpful My little coffee mug I'm using as an inspiration. I'm gonna paint from that. I also printed out some um, images of coffee mugs from the internet to use as inspiration. So here I'm just gonna kind of sketch and draw with my paint and then fill it in and um, just have fun with it. Okay, silly little side note. See the palette moving all over the place? When I was finished, my red sweatshirt had all of the colors of the palette on it. I didn't realize the sleeve was so puffy I didn't realize I was dragging it all onto my sweatshirt so I guess don't wear big puffy sweatshirts when you paint. <laughs> so for the white paint I was actually using the um, gesso, the deco arts gesso. It's pretty thick and it works really well as a white paint and then to keep all of the paint very thin and see-through so I could see the background. I was just using glazing medium to thin out the rest of the paint. As I'm adding some finishing touches, I just want to say thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy all of Jessica's videos from the design team. 
and I ended up making four of the canvases, same process, just different versions of some coffee cups. Again, thanks for watching.